Well, it's Throwback Thursday again. Grady Judd here, your sheriff. And I think about way back in the day. I think back into the early 1970s when the triple X rated theaters sprang up in this county as a result of organized crime. Even one of the organized crime families out of New York was funding this prolific, ugly, nasty mess in what was always a quiet county. And they continue to do well despite the churches saying we don't want new dancing establishments in this county. We don't want a triple X-rated theater, outdoor theater in Bartow. So the community was up in arms. The sheriff's office tried to make a few arrests. I was a young deputy and we couldn't overpower the big powerful private attorneys and all the money from organized crime. So let's fast forward. I become a major with the sheriff's office under Sheriff Crow. And I said, I've got an idea about a three-legged stool attack. The first leg is the investigative branch here at the sheriff's office. The second leg, and a most powerful leg, is the state attorney who prosecutes the cases. And the third leg is the community, which already wants the ugliness out of the community. So we went to the state attorney, Jerry Hill, and said, hey, if you'll train one of your special prosecutors, and he did, Brad Copley, who's simply the best, to prosecute these cases, we'll send detectives to learn how to investigate these cases because they're very technical cases to prove in court. We'll stop this illegal conduct. That's right. It's against the law. Because the U.S. Supreme Court determined a long time ago that the standards of pornography, triple X rated theaters, illegal massage parlors, they call it obscenity, is determined by each community standard. So the fight was on. We closed down over 100 filthy places that otherwise couldn't comply with the law and stay in business. It was their choice to close down. We just required them to comply with the law. Over 100. Some would open, some would close. A state judge even ruled the obscenity law unconstitutional, but the Florida Supreme Court said we were right and the trial judge was wrong. Still today, because of the effort, of the sheriff's office and the community and the state attorney's office. There are no triple X rated theaters, no illegal massage parlors, no illegal dance halls here violating the law. It's all because of a wonderful community and a great law that says obscenity is illegal and each community gets to determine what's obscene. Great law, great community, and the reason we were able to do that such a long time ago was because of the community that supported us. And that's all I got to say about that today. Take care.